Rama Siva Sa, stuttering mind. A friend of mine shared a comment in one WhatsApp message to me, and he says, There are many people who want to classify people who stutter into two camps the severe Oscar winning stutterers and the mild stutterer that I was. So how do I break it down from the severe to the mild? Let me describe the most severe stuttering experience that I had when I worked at the British Embassy in Washington DC in 2009. So the situation was I was the acting team leader for this project and in the first day we had a meeting the set the setting was in a large conference room and I wanted to impress people so you know what happens when you want to impress people you feel a bit nervous you feel a bit anxious you feel all the tension and I classify myself as a I classified myself in the past because now I no longer stutter I no longer stutter and how did I get there well you've seen many videos so in that specific situation I did want to impress the people at the embassy because I was a team leader acting team leader and I felt I had to speak without a single, single stumble, hesitation, um, us, and I crashed and burned. If you haven't seen Top Gun 2, go see it. I love Tom Cruise, Maverick, go see the movie, amazing movie. So I crashed and burned. So that was a severe, severe. And when I meant severe, let me show you how severe. <laughs> Total blocking. <laughs> no, I didn't do any of those things. I mean, there are some people who do them, even on the programs that you and I know. And they still do it in the real life. And they go back for another fix of fluency. The difference between me in 2022 and me in 2009 was I was trying to use the techniques not to stutter. The aim of the game back in 2009 was nah, nah, not to stutter. Now, I quite, I didn't quickly, it took me a long time. In fact, I left that program. I left it way behind, way behind. Lost contact with every single person. When traveling, wrote two books, Dreaming of Stuttering Freedom and Risk Thinking. And if you haven't got those books, get those books today. Both of them, read them, ask me questions. I'll talk about them, it, topics that you want to know. So severe and mild, why do people who stutter want to classify people classify them as severe stutterers. The question is, if you're a severe stutterer, do you stutter when you buy yourself? If you do, you are a classic case of severe stutter because there are very far and few between that actually stutter when they buy themselves. As in, as in, you can't say a single word when you're by yourself in a car. There's no one else here. Hello! Give me a hello, anyone? Hello? So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is that people who stutter is what we do. It's an automatic way of speaking. It wasn't always like that, that we didn't 
develop a severe stutter from the ages of five or six. It grew and grew and grew with the experiences, the negative experiences, the negative feedback we got back from the people. And the mild stutterer. The mild stutterer doesn't care about stuttering. Just rabbits on, he gets on with his life, doesn't let stuttering affect him, doesn't think about stuttering. But the severe stutterer may think about it. There are people who have got severe stuttering and they manage it, but they don't let it hold them back in their lives. They don't avoid going out. They don't avoid asking girls out or guys out. And my stuttering at that time was mild, but in my mind, it was severe. It was severe enough that I didn't have a girlfriend till my mid-30s. Why? Because the experience that I had as a teenager in my 20s made me feel that I had to be perfect. I have great teeth now. <laughs> well, in my early 20s, my teeth were a bit crooked. So I had braces. And I thought I would get a girlfriend just by fixing my teeth. But hey ho, the girls didn't fall at my feet. I don't look like Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise or Mick, or Mick Jagger. I wish I'd learned to play a guitar or a musical instrument. Or even Ed Sheeran, look at Ed Sheeran. He's a great singer, but he's got ginger hair. I've got gray hair now, but anyway. Ginger or gray? Nothing against gingers, guys, so just having a joke. Maybe I should dye my head red. That reminds me, I liked a red head girl in my mid twenties. But she didn't like me back, so. So, in conclusion, severe or mild, it's up to you. It's your mind that is creating the holding back the avoidance and the stuttering experiences in your life. Is it easy for a severe stutterer to get out of stuttering? Hell yeah! Because I've been on these programs where I see these Oscar winning performances of stuttering, where they can't say a single word to even people who stutter. I can't believe it. When I went into my group of stutterers, I did not stutter. I said, um, oh, uh, I looked a bit uncomfortable, but if you look at my first day video, link coming here again, you will see that link in the description below, along with my two books, Dreaming of Stuttering Freedom and Rich Thinking. You will see that I actually did not stutter in a room full of stutterers. Why should I stutter with other people who stuttered? Stutters. I'm not putting them on a pedestal, am I? No way! They're not above me. But if it was an attractive girl such as Jennifer Lopez or newly single Shakira, then I would because I was trying my best not to stutter. That's the problem with all these programs. They're teaching you methods not to stutter. I'm teaching you to stutter like a fa, fa, freaking lion. Not start like a mouse, trying not to stutter. Come on, guys. You've been on the programs. You've tried what they have said. So try wha, what I say. In my last video, I talked about sir. Speaking one word per breath for 30 days. Try it. If you are a severe stutterer and you cannot speak without stuttering using one word per breath then contact me on whatsapp and I will get you out of your stuttering mind. 
it's a mindset thing. You must realize that you start to more and less during the day, weeks. When I was on this program, I used to have periods of fluency because I was trying not to stutter. And then, I would re and then I would remark to myself that, hey Rama, you're doing really well. And then I would start to stutter, block, avoid situations. Basically, I avoided most of my life. Until the age of 35, 36, when I started to face my fears. And what were those fears? Rejection, people laughing at me. At the end of the day, if you can speak like this in a robotic voice for one month without stuttering, is that okay for you? Or is your ego telling you, stop it? I don't want to speak like that. I would rather stutter. That's the topic for the next video. Have a great day, guys. Remember to check, click like, comment below on what you thought and what you would like me to talk about. And remember, get my book, Rich Thinking, Dreaming of Stuttering Freedom, available on Amazon. Just search Rama Siva, Rich Thinking, Rama Siva, Dreaming of Stuttering Freedom. And you'll get the books popping up to the top of the search engines. Have a good day and bye for now.